What's up, guys? Got Dave here. I wanted to talk about how I got into this. How I. What made me want to get my motorcycle license and start riding on the street. And it all had to do with when I moved into my apartment. And uh, it's kind of like on the edge of town. We have sidewalk and uh, street lights and all of the places on my side of the street are on the sewer. And then the other side of the street is the county. And they don't have a sidewalk. They don't have street lights. And uh, all, of, uh, all of those places are on uh, septic, septic tanks. So that's the difference. I'm like right on the edge of town. And it didn't take me long to realize when I first moved in that you could basically like do anything you want up there at the edge of town. <laughs> People were like riding two strokes up and down the street and riding quads up and down the street and just basically anything you could possibly imagine gas powered. People were, uh, people were cruising around up and down the street every weekend. And so I started thinking, I'm like, you know what? I need to, uh, I need to get something to cruise up and down the street on the weekends. And I ended up getting a mini bike and it was so fun. I was riding that thing. I have a GPS like for going camping and hiking. And uh, I put it on the handlebars like a like a speedometer, like for a speedo and an odometer. And I was keeping track. I was riding that little mini bike, going 50 miles on Saturday, and then another 50 miles on Sunday, just like all over town, just riding around wherever I felt like. And uh, I was telling my friends about it, and they were like, "Dude, you're crazy, man! You're gonna get a ticket. You're gonna get that thing impounded, whatever, you know, like." never happened I never got in trouble for doing that but after a while of people telling me all that I was gonna get in trouble I started getting paranoid and uh, so I was like I need to get something that's legal and that's when I got the gas bike but that thing was so slow it, it really wasn't fun to ride like the mini bike was and uh, so at that point, I was like, you know what, I just need to get my motorcycle license and actually like get a real motorcycle and start riding. And so I went, I took the MSF class and did all that, got my license. And the only riding I had ever done like on a motorcycle other than the mini bike was uh, on my dirt bike. And that's the only real experience that I had. And uh, so I figured I'll just get me a dual sport. That way it's the same you know, a riding position, so uh, I won't have as much to get used to, you know, like I didn't want to get like a total sport bike, like with the crotch rocket position, because I figured that would be really like too much to learn all, all at once, and I just wanted to get like get used to using my turn signals and just riding around with cars and just getting used to having people around me, like on the street. Got me that Yamaha WR250R. Had that WR250R for a few. And really the only complaint that I had about it was that it was so slow. You know, it was just so slow compared to what I wanted. <laughs> and so after that, I got my Aprilia Dorsoduro. And that was a 750. I bought that used. And uh, it was a good bike super good bike a lot of fun got a lot of good experience on that bike and while I owned it I bought the Duke 690 because I really liked the Duke it was super light the Aprilia was like 450 pounds or something like that super heavy so I ended up trading the Aprilia and that was like just recently. I got the RC8 and I got this. And that's like where I'm at now with the street bikes. I sold the mini bike. I've still got the gas bike. It's got a flat tire right now. Gotta fix that, but basically like 
once I got my M1 license, I really didn't care too much about, you know, I mean, once you can actually ride a real motorcycle. <laughs> That's what I was all about. So, all right, here I am. I'm gonna get some breakfast at the rock store. So I'll talk to you guys later. You have a great day.